Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Ngannou is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introduce the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bagamada. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making a fight. Ready. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. <laughs> this one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, massive right hand. Oh, nice jab. And they set it. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big 
big call from Brunch Lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands the right hand. Beautiful body pitch. All right, so Francis and got him. Oh! oh trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Oh, his opponent's squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. He blocks the punch. Punch. Big punch from the clinch. Single collar tie now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Battling for hooks. He loaded up on that right hand, too. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Big kick land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Seconds winding down in the opening round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations.